All right, ladies and gents, it is the 31st of December, 2018. Tomorrow is New Year's Day, January, 2019. Last video of the year, and we're doing top knives of 2018. Notice I said knives. I could not narrow it down to one. I just tried and I couldn't, there's too many good ones. But had you asked me I move these out of the reason way for this to take a little spotlight. Had you asked me a few months ago what my knife of the year is, I was going to resoundly say the Riot Baby Machine. For the longest time, it was my favorite knife of the year. I think I've had it for, man, I don't know, quite a few months. And I absolutely flip and I mean, it's survived many knife sales. That's a good sign for me anyway, because I sell so many of the knives I review just because it's hard to keep them all. It's expensive. But I've had it for a good, I want to say six months. Sounds about right. I'm looking back on my videos here real quick. Yep five months almost six months i've had it for that long and it stayed with me and i've absolutely absolutely loved it so if you would ask me five months ago or even three months ago or even two months ago i would have told you that was it but then the knife companies all of a sudden were like let's push out lots of great models at the end of the year like the min pin by monterey bay knives and ray laconico well it's ray laconico's little sister company i guess with uh Caramel Cutlery, Samson. That's a fantastic knife, one of my favorites of the year. Then you had the Rick Hinder Half Track Gen 2. The original Half Track is an awesome knife, but the Gen 2 is another level with the tri waist pivot system. And then you had the Spider Co Capara come out, which a lot of people were touting as the knife of the year, and I picked one up and absolutely love it. <laughs> and then Booze Blades decides to do a Special run of the smoke. This is the CM1 with carbon. The C referring to carbon fiber. The M M390 for Blade HQ, and these launched um, not even a month ago. I don't think. In fact, I've only had this one for a few weeks. But I've always loved the smoke. But this version, wow! Upgraded M390 blade steel. The carbon fiber show side. It weighs like 2.2 ounces or something ridiculous. So. I just couldn't pick one. I I was totally leaning to, hey, this was my knife of the year for the longest time. And a lot of people were this one, and I'm like, oh, it could be these two. These are such good competitors. And I'm like, I just love the half track, and I've been carrying this smoke for just, I just love the design of the smoke. It's not a new model, but, I mean, it's a new variation of the smoke. And then the mid pin, too, as well. Um, so I couldn't pick one, guys. So this is my top five. Top five of 2018. Most carried, um, definitely the, just because I've had it the longest, the Riot Baby Machine. Um, the I would also give a nod to the Mass Drop Prism, which is also made by Riot Knives, and it's the same, essentially the same design, just a little different. The handles are, the, it's not as premium as the Baby Machine, and from what I've heard from people that have had both, um, but, but it's definitely less expensive. Now, I did get this one for a really good deal. Um, eBay does these sales where like they'll do like 20% off everything that you can buy on eBay, and that's what I think I got it for. So I, I paid right around the present price, maybe a little bit more. Um, and it's a reputable dealer and stuff. So, but I, yeah, the baby machine is definitely one of my faves. I was super shocked by the RL RWL34 how well it's held up. I haven't had to sharpen this guy. I've only stropped it, and it's just got right back to being. Super sharp. It didn't come with the best edge out of the box, I will say that. But, couldn't pick one, guys. I tried. I really, really tried. But I would say these are my top five of 2018. And that's including another Hinder, some Chris Reeve knives, which I would include, but they're really not new. They're just the same Sabenza that we've known for a long time. So, that's why I didn't. Um, yeah, fantastic designs, fantastic knives. 
can't go wrong with any of these. These are premium folders. I mean, the less expensive folder on the, the least expensive folder is probably the Spyderco at 188. Um, but it's so good for the money. And you're stepping up into the 220 range, 225, 300, and 400 range. So you're you're on the high high higher end of production knives for sure, which is where I usually live. That's kind of where I'm at most most of the time. Now I did do other videos. I've, if you haven't watched them, I'll link them in the description where you can see like my top knives under 50 bucks, like the Civivi um, Prac Backlash. I always want to call this the Praxis, and it's not. It's the Backlash. And I would have included this in this video because it is one of my top of the year, but I did that video specifically for less expensive knives because there's those guys that watch this channel that are more into budget offerings, and there's the guys that are more into these high-end productions. So. It's kind of where, you know, I, I like to cover all those spectrums. I don't t typically go into customs anymore um, or even mid-techs because you can get things like this that are fat. Just the quality is so good for way less than a mid-tech. Same with the um, min-pin. It's technically a production knife, but it's, you know, a version of Ray's custom. So, But either way, guys, um, I think these are all fantastic choices. Let me know your thoughts and what you think of if you have any of these knives. I know that the Capara is going to be on the top of a lot of people's lists. I would be, I wouldn't be surprised if the Baby Machine is either, um, or the Prism, one of the two. Um, but let me know your thoughts on the others. You know, I, like I said, this guy has been getting so much pocket time because I've always loved the smoke. I had one forever, for like a long time, one of the original S35s. I wanted to get one M390, so I sold it, and then. I didn't buy another one because the Hound came out and a few other knives. And then when I saw these carbon fiber show side scale, I mean, it's just the front scale is just all carbon fiber and how light it was for the size of the knife. And I just said, you know what, I got to have one of those. And it's been one of my most carried for the last few weeks. Now, I will give a shout out as my most carried knife of 2018. I was going to do a video of, my, of all my most carried of this year, and that's just kind of right on time. This is the last video of 2018, so I guess I could make one in 2019, but I will give a shout out to my most carried knife, which isn't one of these five, which isn't even my Sabenzas, which I carry most of anything. The Bug Out. The Benchmade Bug Out, guys, is literally the knife that I carry the most. There's reason behind that. First, it's a fantastic knife, and it's got a good blade still. I've even got my EDC gear reviews um, kind of engraved on that. They did that for free at a, a Blade HQ deal. I used to carry this knife with S, uh, with titanium scales for a long time, and I carried it a lot, but not as much as I've carried it with the FRN. Why? Because it weighs literally nothing. It's under 2 ounces. I think it's what 1.8? 1. 1. Something stupid. And a lot of times, um, I'll just be wearing like sweatpants or you know whatever sounds sounds like you're something comfy around the house and this thing weighs 1.88 ounces so under two the least of any of my knives and I'll end up just grabbing this all the time or if I'm just running to the store and I've got basketball shorts on in the summer or even just any shorts or, you know, just something where I'm like in more comfortable wear, I'm going to grab this and carry it around. So I don't know if it's my most carried knife outside of my house, <laughs> but it's definitely my most carried knife inside my house and in certain attire. And so I think everyone should own a bug out. It's a fantastic design. That, I mean, this one's super smooth. The access lock is great. comes in this FRN, um, OD green with the grayish color coating i can't remember what they called it on the blade or you can do the you know original blue um there's also a company out of california called i want to say edc specialist i'll have to look and see I'm glad that my kids are running throughout my house so you can hear that yeah sorry but um they, they do like certain writ dye, like special colors of these. They had like a really cool black cherry color and some other colors. So definitely grab a bug out. But that is my most carried knife of 2018. But these are my most, these are my top five of 2018. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for supporting the channel this year. It's been a fun year. 
Uh, lots of great knives. Ex excited to see what's coming in 2019. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.